I thank you, Ian. A weekend boat fire off the coast of Pasco County has now turned deadly. The terrifying moments unfolded near Port Ritchie Sunday afternoon. A shuttle boat carrying passengers to a casino boat burst into flames. We now start with News Channel 8's Avery Cotton. She's live at Bayonet Point Hospital in Hudson. And Avery, we learned early this morning that one person who was on that boat passed away. Yeah, good morning, Marco. It certainly was not the news we wanted to report this morning. I do have some more information, though, that I want to share with you about that woman. She was 42 years old. She was here at Bayonet Point Hospital in critical condition last night. And the Pasco County Sheriff's Office tells us that she passed away just before 11 o'clock last night while doctors were treating her. She was one of about 15 people who had to be taken to local hospitals for injuries after 50 people on board that shuttle boat had to jump for their lives into the cold water and swim to shore after it just burst right into flames. People who live in the nearby Harbor Point subdivision worked to pull passengers and crew members from the water. They then offered them towels, blankets and clothes to keep them warm. Now, just moments ago, I spoke with the Port Ritchie police chief and he tells me right now they are working to learn the conditions of everyone who was taken to hospitals last night. Throughout the day, what we want to do is, is anybody that was admitted, and we want to see the, the conditions that they're in so that we're prepared. Hopefully, this is the only fatality. It's, you know, our, our prayers are out, go out to the family. Uh, everybody seemed to be in pretty good condition last night uh, when, when, when we, we wrapped up the scene. So it's just it's an unfortunate, you know, unfortunate thing. And of course, our thoughts and prayers go out to that woman's family as well. Right now, the police chief tells me no criminal charges have been filed. But Marco, of course, this is very early on in the investigation, and the investigation has since been turned completely over to the Coast Guard. All right. Thank you, Avery, for that update. And our team coverage continues in the investigation into what actually started the fire. Amanda Shavari is live in Port Ritchie this morning near the dock where passengers boarded that shuttle. Amanda, multiple agencies involved in this investigation right now. Stacey, that's right. The Coast Guard taking lead when it comes to the investigation into how the fire started, but also involved the police department and the sheriff's office. A spokesman for the Coast Guard said it is an all hands on deck situation. They will now look into the actions of all the crew members and the condition of that shuttle boat to determine how the fire started. Eagle 8 HD flew over the charred skeleton of the Sun Cruise shuttle only recognizable part of it, the bow with the American flag still waving. Now take a look at video from Sunday when that fire was burning. You can see the smoke billowing out, but that American flag still waving in the wind. All of this happened. Well, 50 people, crew included, had to jump in the chilly waters below in order to escape. Police giving credit to the shuttle's captain for his quick thinking. The shuttle was bringing people to a casino boat, which is three miles offshore in, in international waters. The captain noticed a problem with the engine and what he did next, police say, likely saved lives. He decided he was going to turn it around and bring it back to the dock. He never made it that far. He noticed the uh, fire coming in out of the engine room. So he literally almost ran the boat aground uh, to the shoreline where the people could get off in, in, in very shallow waters. Now, this is truly incredible when you think about the timeline like this. The shuttle took off around 3.30. That 911 call for the boat on fire came in at 4 o'clock. So if that captain had not had the quick thinking to turn the boat around, they would have been a half hour out into water that is likely very deep, and that's where the people would have had to jump off to escape those flames. I can tell you just moments ago, we saw the Coast Guard go out to check out the boat. What they're doing out there this morning is looking at the area around boat to see if there are any environmental issues that could be caused by this fire, any fuel in the water that could impact wildlife. Aid on your side has also learned that this shuttle boat was required to be inspected by the Coast Guard. We are working to get the latest inspection reports and then we'll, of course, bring you anything that we learn on, on air and at WFLA.com. Stacey Marco, back to you. All right. Thank you, Amanda. And this is a story we will continue to follow, as Amanda said. So watch for updates online.